is another open source library that you have to know about. We are looking at archetype, which is another schema validation library. Here we can define this user type, which has a name of string, a platform of Android or iOS, and some versions here, which is an array of numbers or strings. We can then take that schema type and all the way down here can actually validate it on some objects. So for instance, we have this user, which has a device like this. So we take our schema and we simply call it with the object that we want to validate, and then we check if it's got some any type errors on it. Otherwise, we now have our actual validated object. This is great if you need to check any data coming in on an API endpoint or any form data. The thing that Archetype does really differently to anyone else in this space is it has this crazy syntax for how you actually define your types. You can use TypeScript syntax inside these strings here. So you notice that we're inside a double quoted string and then we say Android as a literal type or iOS here as another literal type. For specifying optionality or key optionality, we basically say versions, and then we just add the little question mark into the name of the key here. Now, when you do this in Archetype, you get really nice syntax highlighting via their extension and autocomplete on all this stuff. And you might think this would run as slow as a potato in your IDE, because surely all of this string checking, all of this magic, right? That's a lot of work for TypeScript to do, so it's gonna slow down your IDE, slow down your CI. Well, not quite. David, who wrote Wrote archetype is one of the leading experts in TypeScript performance. And so you get this really nice DX at really no cost. This I think is the closest that anyone has got to being able to take TypeScript types and just run them at runtime. And if you can bear moving away from Zord or Valibot or AJV or anything like that, then archetype is a really solid option.